Hello to you comic readers out there, Mike from Comic Frontline here and welcome to my comic review that I will be reviewing digitally from all new all different Marvel. The comic is Carnage, issue number 7. And before I get into the book, let me just show you guys some preview artwork which I found to be drawn always great since I've read the first issue and so on until now. So it starts off where um, from last issue we saw that uh, Jubilee matched to escape uh, Cleus Cassidy, aka Carnage, from the boat after uh, it exploded, and she met up with the group of Eddie Brock, John Jameson, and so on, who are going to tell her who this Cleus Cassidy person is. Meanwhile, FBI headquarters, Agent Dixon. Um, is being told by the FBI that 18 agents have been dead uh, due to this Cleus Cassidy case and also there have been no evidence of uh, the cult that was buried in the mine uh, underground and Agent Dixon saying there were witnesses but unfortunately they're dead and uh, that's basically uh, the end of the discussion there and she meets up with this girl named Victoria Montesi and she has a group that they call themselves the Children of Midnight where they have to uh, talk about some and they leave you off there. Meanwhile it goes to the Maniacal Carnage where he talks to this uh, guy named Junior and asks him about uh, this book that he has, how uh, this book can be used that he got from Gleason. And then it goes to uh, John Jameson where he you know, there's like long dialogue, but I'm just going to give you guys a briefie because in all the Carnage books, this has been the longest dialogue that I've read uh, until now. And he just, and John just says that, you know, um, him being a werewolf, he doesn't uh, like that. When he becomes man-wolf, he's not himself. And um, afterwards, um, Agent Dixon says that um, they have this uh, new mission where it's possibly legal but definitely dangerous and almost certainly irresistible and then it goes back to Carnage where we see how he's using the book for uh, not for good really but then Junior mentions that uh, there's like a sacred stone uh, an altar and the person a man who knows about it he has to go to this place in Jakarta Indonesia which I'm hope I, I pronounce that right, and then it goes to uh, back to the group where they're talking about Gleason's old book, that it's a dark hold, and how it has like a uh, all this stuff what it includes. And if you want to read, um, know more about it, definitely read the book. And then it goes to Eddie Brock where uh, he's in this um, FBI black site, which is a prison compound after he turned into uh, Toxin and afterwards things get out of hand lots of uh, stuff is going on and um, there are um, James Jameson who turns into Man Wolf he comes into play and it's basically the group helping Eddie Brock get out of there and with all that their next target now to go to is where Carnage is going to, which is Jakarta, Indonesia. I just hope I said that right. And that's to be continued until next issue. Now, the only thing I have a little bit in air about in this comic book was that the dialogue was way too long. And uh, the story was a little bit meh, kind of. But not in the bad or good meh, just in the middle. So the rating I'm giving this comic book is an average rating of 3 out of 5 stars. The artwork was great as it was from issues 1 to now. The story was just a little bit here and there with uh, all the long dialogue. But I like how now they're showing how Carnage is using more of the magic. And now where he'll have to go uh, more into it of this man that's in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. And we'll find out next time in the next issue uh, how that's going to come into play. So with that, guys, that is my comic review of Carnage, issue number 7. Before I go, don't forget to check out ComicFrontline.com, ZoneFullPodcast.com, and our YouTube gaming channel, Frontline Gaming Zone. We are, you know, more source for comic and game-related news reviews and a whole bunch more. 
Please uh, leave your comments on if you've read Carnage and if you have the same thoughts as me, likes, dislikes, agree or disagree with me of anything I said here. And I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And also, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because uh, that would that really means a lot to us. And we have videos that you won't miss out each and every day that we post them. And until next time, to all your comp agreeers, Mike from Comp Frontline saying take care and don't forget to keep watching. Later, everybody.